What happens to people and their possessions if they refuse to leave their homes after the state completes an eminent domain proceeding? You know, Empire State Development Corporation is, uh, we recognize that uh, in uh, a project where we're exercising eminent domain, it, it impacts people's lives. Um, we're very sensitive to that. Um, we try to minimize the impact of our projects on uh, folks who are displaced by the project. Um, we have uh, very little experience uh, having to deal with people who refuse to leave. I think we have a good track record of um, assisting displaced residents and businesses in finding new locations and uh, uh, trying to assist them in dealing with what admittedly is a disruptive process. Um, as a strict, from a strictly legal perspective, if someone were to refuse to leave, um, there's a court process that Empire State Development Corporation would go through. Uh, it would be super, uh, supervised by uh, the condemnation judge uh, in Kings County. Uh, once the condemnation was approved and the property was needed for construction, Empire State Development Corporation would ask the judge to issue a writ of assistance. It's comparable to an eviction notice, uh, which we then would deliver to the uh, Kings County Sheriff. There would be uh, a reasonable period of time that would pass. The individual would be given uh, a deadline for leaving. If they refuse to leave, the sheriff uh, would forcibly remove them and their possessions. Uh, their possessions would be stored off-site for a reasonable period of time. Uh, we don't anticipate that happening. It's, uh, uh, we're not in the habit of dealing with that situation on our project. I have a follow-up question. If the Court of Appeals finds that eminent domain may not be used in this case, then what? Every court that has considered the use of eminent domain on this project has found it to be appropriate and lawful, and uh, we're confident that we'll we're going to prevail uh, in the Court of Appeals, and uh, we're committed to moving the project forward um, by the end of the year. Okay, okay folks. Look, we may not like the answers we get, but we're getting the answers.